welcome back to my channel. I'm out of uniform today. Um, just wanted to show you me giving Buddy and Bella their worming tablets. Now, a lot of people try to wrap them in cheese, uh, try to disguise them in their food, everything like that. I did that when I first started worming these guys, um, but I just found that they left them uh, at the at the bottom of their food or they would eat the cheese and spit this out so basically i learned from the vet how to put it down their throat and to make sure that it, it stays down there it does cause a little bit of discomfort but this way you know they're getting their protection so these are the little worming tablets that i give them bella gets one and buddy gets one so i'm going to show you how i do it First up we have Bella, my little Bella. She needs a whole tablet now because she's getting fat. She's 6.2 kilos. Let's see. Now it does break into four pieces. Sometimes Bella will just eat it. Other times she'll spit it out. So we'll just see. She's my good girl. one and that's how you worm your dog I'm sure all of your dogs don't do that and buddy definitely doesn't do that so we're gonna sit buddy up here now oh. say hello to everyone yeah all right so let's let's try buddy No, so as you can see, Buddy, Buddy already knows what's coming. So basically, I've only broken off a little bit there. He knows what's coming and he doesn't like this at all. Oh no. So, no, you're not getting any more. So with these guys, just gotta open their mouth, basically. Stick it right on the side behind their tongue there and close their mouth. Good boy, good boy. They have to swallow eventually. So I'm not hurting him or anything like that. And that's gone, okay? So don't be, don't be afraid, don't be afraid to, to stick it down their throat. I definitely was at first, but this way you know that you're getting it. So again, guys, he tries to spit it back out. So right at the end, down, down the back of the throat, and he's swallowed. I just saw that he swallowed. So that's fantastic. Now I've got one more piece. I'll put you up here this time. Just, I've got the last piece here. All right, so head back, open their mouth, put it right behind their tongue, down to the side of their throat, always at the side. Keep their head back, give them a little tickle under their throat. And that's a good example of Buddy spinning it back up. I didn't get it high enough. I mean, low enough down the, down the back there. Good boy, good boy. And that's done. So they have both been wormed. Now I do, especially with Buddy, as you can see, Bella ate hers, no problem. She's my little point back. Um, with Buddy, I just double check that there's nothing stuck on the sides there that he's going to. To bring up later. So that's all done. And this is Bud Bud. Yes, I know. See, and as you can see, there's no discomfort caused and he has been wormed. So that is great. Hey, this. You say bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. Love ya. Come. You wanna come say hi? Come.
And this is my little princess. This is my little princess. Say hello, look. Yeah, say hello. Yeah, I know, you're such a good girl. With Bella, um, I give them also their flea and tick chew. They both don't like that. Um, so I have to put it down the back of Bella's throat as well with that one. And that's once every three months. So these tablets I do once every three months. I do a flea and tick treatment once every three months. So that's on the same day or I do it a day or two apart. And then they get their yearly booster shots and yearly heartworm injections. So I do four things for these guys. A worming tablet, which I've just given them. They have Bravecto, which covers fleas and ticks. Then they have their booster shots annually and also their um, heartworm injection annually. Some people say, oh, you should only do, this one covers all those worms, it's better. I found for my guys that this, um, this works for them uh, but he had a, a pretty bad reaction to the advocate which goes on the back of the neck so I don't use that anymore and with the chews I find that everything's been fine they do have a little bit of an upset stomach sometimes after it but that's that goes away within a day or two any anything more about this um, schedule that I do for my guys which works really really well they never have fleas or anything like that or worms um, just drop a comment below um, you can even inbox me on my Facebook page that's fine and yeah we can we can go a little bit more into detail about that thanks guys bye